please. All right, let's see what's going on for you, what your messages are for November. Whatever spirit wants to send through, whether it's a love or money. Spirit has a plan. Okay. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Trust in the magic. Okay. Something's working out for you in maybe a way that you're not expecting. What is this turn knowledge into wisdom card, first of all? Something, okay. Some of you, wow. Some of this can be speaking, writing, teaching others, possibly. Um, or this is getting a new job, getting paid for your skills. This can also be a, it's like you also have a better way of picking people like when it comes to love. So like when you meet somebody new, you know, like if there's red flags to move on, you listen to your intuition also, because there might be a commitment coming in for some of you. What does spirit has a plan for Aries? Ten of cups, the wheel, four of swords. Some of you guys are maybe taking a break or you need to take a break. You may need some downtime. Some of you may be single. Um, this could be, again, Ten of Cups, obviously a relationship or family, but something here where you are taking a break with the Four of Swords, kind of the in-between energy, Four of Swords moving forward. I guess some of you moving, wanting to move to a different country, Nine of Cups, wanting to move away from something. It's like you are looking at the past and you've learned something, you get it now. And you're kind of like thinking something through and you're like, no, I'm going to move, I'm going to make a change. Maybe something was triggered recently, maybe it has something to do with the person, a family member, maybe a job. It's not showing, like, but it could be job related. But this can also be, again, like writing an ebook or having it written, your knowledge, what you've learned. You could teach others or show others or something and make money, but trust in the magic. You, two of coins, five of swords, a magician. There's a leap of faith. There's something here you want to do or it's going to come in and you're kind of unsure of the two of coins. You're trying to decide, but you're like, no, I'm going to go for this. This could be a better job. This could be moving away from family or moving away from a relationship. This could be um, a lot of things, but magician with the five of wands. Okay, there could be some people who aren't happy about this decision or what you're doing, but you're going to be happy. Four of Wands. Look what's under the deck, the Nine of Coins. There could be a cycle that's like repeating or coming back around. And again, you've already learned that lesson. You don't want to go back. You don't want to do that again. It could be like the same lesson, different person. But it feels a little more personal than that. It feels like it's family or something like that. It's kind of like when, yeah, okay, look at Someone's acting stupid. This is a stubborn card. So anyone could be more than one person. It says someone's stubborn. They don't want to change. I'm almost getting for someone, like this is just an example. If you celebrate Thanksgiving and every year you go home to your family and everyone's drinking and fighting and it's just a mess and it's horrible, then don't go this year. Go on vacation. Take time for you instead. Do something different. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, control your anger or you'll be sorry. There's something where you may need to separate yourself from someone or something. Don't keep five. Don't keep having the same fight with a the person. They're not changing because you can see here and here. And I think you kind of get it now. You're like, yeah, it's not worth my time. This can be a work situation. Maybe it's time to get a new job, even though it says the Ten of Cups. That could be like work or something else. Neighbor, hang on, everything fell out. What does Aries need to know? It says, persevere, you'll overcome problems. Also, you'll be shown the way. You will be helped. That's good. A great passion tulips in December. And you're protected from negative forces. So someone could be, I don't want to say like doing spell work or anything, but people could have negative thoughts about you. Someone could be trying to hold you back. Great passion in December, though. So it could be, you know, again, passion around a job, a person, obviously, but... Oh, hair fungus just came out. Look at that. Justice, the six of wands in the hair fund. So this may not happen until December. Maybe it's taking you this time to get out of something, to pack, to make the decision, because it looks like you're thinking about this. Show me the four of wands. Where are you going? What is this stability? You're choosing something different, something that excites you. It could be a person, but you're not telling people. You're nervous. You may be worried about this. 
but be strong. It could be a Leo for somebody, but you're gonna be so much happier with this new opportunity. You're tired of what was, you're tired of the past, yet you are reclaiming your powers I'm getting. You are moving towards something better. You're done with what was, and I'm getting you could have a conversation with someone, and again, they may just trigger you. You just feel like they're being stupid, and so don't get triggered. Someone else is repeating a pattern that they, again, okay, let me go to a different deck. Let me see. Um, I'm going to go really quick here to love. I want to see who's popping up in love for Aries. Some of you, you have a secret affair. You may have somebody who has their eyes on you. Um, they could have really beautiful eyes is what I'm getting. Maybe it is something like a friend with benefits or a secret or something. I feel like you may, again, like a take time off. The hooky from work or again maybe you won't visit family this year instead you're going to go spend time with this person something that's very chaotic it's like it's yeah healing and releasing i get releasing someone or something because there's a there's and passions coming out in this deck as well there's a magnetic attraction it could be something that hasn't shown up in your life it may just be time for you to decide okay i don't want to be here anymore in this job or with this person it's just not worth my time there could be some sort of commitment with this person. This person may make you feel safe and comforted and inspired. This is like someone who accepts you for you. Somebody who, like you can, if you do music, maybe someone doesn't like, like let's say you play the drums, they find it annoying. When you're with this person, you can practice your music, play music, whatever, do, do your thing, be yourself. You can be, um, yeah, you can be genuine, like who you really are. Maybe people don't, this could be family who doesn't accept you. So, wow. Okay, I'm kind of going deep here, but uh, that could be, yeah, you're tired of being, you know, judged. You're tired of people saying things. Show me something else for Aries this month. It feels like something that kind of makes you nervous is a little bit scary, but you're excited, okay? And you're going to be so much happier there. So it could be a move. I see blocks being lifted. For, definitely for some of you, it's kind of a general statement. I just saw the mountain in reverse. There's an important person. It could be a masculine energy. A gentleman, it says. Key means something important. Key person. Can mean also receiving a key, but the house. Somebody's house. Moving. You could be moving in with someone or somebody moving in with you, but also the, the trees about stability, roots, good health. Um, longevity, reflection also. Can be like the seven of coins. Look at the deck, I see two of cups. Somebody may get a different job or you're working at somebody's home. Somebody may work like on gardens or trees or homes or things like that, outdoor work, or you're gonna start a business. Um, you may again, uh, maybe take a job where you live in someone's home or, but this again, if it's love, you may be moving in with someone. I look like that over there with the four of wands. It's gonna be a Pisces. I'm getting a Gemini, a Leo specifically, or a Taurus for some of you. I get also it could be someone who has had feelings for you for a long time. Maybe you have feelings for them. I see a lot of communication around this. I guess someone who may be traveling to Greece, or maybe they're there right now. Could also be in like Australia or Canada, so I'm picking up. Some may have an accent. This person may have an accent different than yours or something. You could be receiving some money or receiving a gift. Six of coins. A surprise. I'm getting some of you also getting like a, I don't know, severance package or re, like, um, re, I'm going to say retiring. It could be retiring, but something like where you're finalizing something. You may get a small amount of money. Maybe a surprise to get this money. Something may be coming back to you. There's a refund. But you're happy, Aries. You're really going to be happy, I think, by the end of the year. Especially if you decide to make this change. If you're, again, dealing with someone who, who is not going to change, who's argumentative, and it, it just feels kind of heavy. Heavy energy. So I feel like you're going to be very happy to make this change and to... I don't want to keep saying move because not everyone's going to be moving. You don't have to move, but move forward, okay? One more card from this deck. So maybe you need to practice your music or you may be very crafty or want to create something. Trust in any divine detours. Anything that might go wrong um, is meant to happen. 
Detours are usually small. They're not like towers. They're not big, but they are like something that may throw you off. Like you get a flat tire, that'd be a pain in the ass. Or, you know, a little deep tour. I guess sometimes go to the dentist and get something done with one of your teeth. Maybe you got a cavity or something. And, or like, you don't, you don't know, maybe there's someone there you're gonna meet or talk to. Or maybe it's just divine timing taking you out of the path uh, where you would have been in an accident. Instead, you got a flat tire, you're not gonna be in that accident. Sometimes things like that happen to protect us and we don't see the bigger picture, but spirit is keeping us safe. But this feels like it has to do with the person's talking to you, so I'm kind of getting the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I'm feeling like moving forward, Knight of Cups. Again, there's some sort of home here, house, four of wands. Relationship. I'm getting also like you were looking at one apartment complex or one house, and, and it's you end up going to a different one on accident or on purpose, and you find out that one's way better. You find something on accident is what I'm getting. It's a detour. I get it's like actually a real life. Maybe some of you are driving and you take a detour. You go a different way and you see something. So remember, um, it's okay to take detours. It's okay to go off the road. It's okay to try something different or new because it may be what you need or want or maybe that person's there. So again, detours, like I said, are not like towers. They're not bad. They're just like, hey, we got some extra time. Let's go down this street and see what's on the street. I've never been here. So detours are okay. They're good. So, all right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.